welcome back. This is the third episode in our tutorial series explaining how to use your NarxCare online account to access patient prescription data. One of the major advantages of the NarxCare system is the ease by which an authorized user can request and run a patient's prescription history. In the midst of the opioid epidemic, it is critical to have access to this information to make the most informed prescribing and dispensing decisions. In this episode, you will learn exactly how to use the prescription search features to request this information. You can access Prescription Search from the main menu under the Prescription Search tab. Prescription Search's pull-down menu includes the following options. Patient Request, Bulk Patient Search, Request History, My Prescription, and Prescriber Report. At the Patient Request page, you can request a prescription history for one particular patient. In our example, we will request a history for your patient. Type in the name, and the date of birth to make your request. A helpful feature is that partial spelling may be selected for both the first and last names. This is especially helpful if the names are long or if you're unsure of the spelling. The page requires that you accept terms of acknowledgement specific to your role to confirm that this individual is under your care and treatment and that you have informed your patient that you may consult the Virginia PMP about their prescribing history. The PMPI Interconnect Search is where you can select the PMPs in addition to Virginia from which you want to receive your patient's prescription history. The states that you selected as default PMPI states are already checked based on your initial selection under the My Profile tab described in Episode 2. You now get the patient's prescription history not only from Virginia but also from other PMPs of interest. These may be border states or states where the patient has recently lived and or worked. Once you have entered the patient data and selected the states, click Search to generate the report. In order to generate the NarxCare report, the system looks at exactly two years of prescribing. Once you submit the search, a results screen will be returned to you where you verify and select the appropriate matching patient profiles. Once selected, click on Run Report. The patient's NarxCare report will generate and you will be able to view it immediately. So far in this episode, we've covered submitting an individual patient request and how to generate the report. Now, we will continue discussing the additional components of the prescription search function, including making a bulk patient request, my prescription, and your prescriber report. The purpose of bulk patient search is to allow you to submit all your patient requests at the same time rather than individually. This is useful because it allows you as a practitioner to generate reports in ways that are most useful for your day-to-day -day work. For example, you can submit a bulk report request for all patients scheduled on a particular appointment date. There are two ways to request a bulk patient search. You can manually enter all the patient's names and dates of birth and then submit them simultaneously, as shown here, or you can upload a CSV file of all the patient names and dates of birth and submit the entire group at one time, as shown here. Either way that you select, a PMP profile will be generated for each one of the individual patients that you requested. Remember, you can request data from multiple states when that might be useful. Just as with an individual request, you may select states in addition to your PMP Interconnect default states under the PMP Interconnect search category to get this additional information. Let's now look at the My Prescription function, which is another valuable way to track medication prescribing. Specifically, My Prescription gives you the prescriber a record of your prescriptions and the quantity of medications you prescribe for a given time frame. As you can see on this sample My Prescription screen, the report shows all of the prescriptions that have been dispensed under your unique DEA number. The importance of this report is that it may include prescriptions that were incorrectly attributed to your DEA number due to forgery, pharmacy input error, or other issues. The report displays all prescriptions filed under your DEA number for up to 10 months prior to the date of your request. Because your DEA number is already associated with your NARCS Care account, 
The system will not allow you to request any other prescriber's history. The My Prescription function is a good tool for spotting prescriptions that don't belong to you. The easiest way to identify errors in the report is to look at the patient names. If you have not provided that care, you may contact the pharmacy that dispensed the prescription, law enforcement, or PMP administrators. The final option listed under Prescription Search is the Prescriber Report. This is a downloadable PDF file that summarizes specific information about your historical prescribing patterns. Your Prescriber Report provides detailed information from the preceding two quarters, including which medications you prescribed, in what amounts, and to how many patients. It provides you with a useful, convenient tool for evaluating your own prescribing patterns. The report also provides a comparison to your peer prescribers. Lastly, it's important to note that the NARCSCARE interface is compatible across multiple platforms, including your laptop, desktop, phone, or other device. But it may look different depending on how you're accessing it. However, the main menu will remain the same across all devices. So regardless of how you access the PMP system using the NARCSCARE interface, your primary menu will always contain the list shown here. Home, Prescription Search, User Profile, Training, and PDMP links. If you have additional questions, contact Virginia's PMP at this email address. For technical support from APRIS, please call this number.